Greetings, everyone. Just waiting for a few more names to come in. Nick, Giuseppe, Ryan, Nirali, Danny, thanks for coming. Matt. All right. I might make a start here. Good enough participants there. So uh, thanks everyone uh, for taking the time to join us uh, in this webinar, uh, looking at a quick overview uh, of the new uh, Solence 105 uh, well casing and depth indicator. Um, we'll uh, go through here the objective, I suppose, on this one uh, just quickly. Um, I guess uh, we'll be putting forward uh, in the future, quite a few um, little short presentations, I guess, on some new instrumentation and trying to get our uh, knowledge shared across uh, from Hydroterra to uh, anyone willing to participate into uh, these little quick webinars. So uh, thanks for uh, joining uh, on this one. And you should see uh, quite, a, quite a few more coming through um, in the coming uh, weeks. So uh, I'll just give a quick a quick brief on on Solence uh, for those who maybe aren't aware um, but uh, you know it's a very well known uh, brand here in Australia they've been doing it for over 40 years um, in the in the water level and, and quality monitoring technology so they've been at it a long time um, products offered uh, you guys must be uh, you know well familiar with uh, by now but um, the uh, water level meters, data loggers, groundwater samplers, all that sort of thing. Um, in the future, there will be uh, some more uh, webinars that we'll put forward out for, for those things. Um, and uh, we've been um, exclusive distributors of Solenced in Australia here for over 14 years now. So the, um, the, just the way this is gonna go, I'll just give a bit of a breakdown um, on the team, uh, the product presentation itself, and at the end we have a bit of a Q and A. So, uh, as I mentioned myself, my name is Kyle. I'm the product sales manager here at Hydroterra, and um, this has been organised also by our general manager Michelle uh, Canton, who's also here. So a bit of housekeeping uh, initially. Um, there's a Q and A box uh, in the top toolbar. Uh, which I'll get you all to gather uh, your questions in there. Um, I'll run through um, uh, many of those as I can uh, at the end uh, live um, whilst we're all here, but I'll also endeavour um, to answer all in some capacity uh, offline as well if we don't get the time uh, here. So um, what I'll do is uh, I'll run through uh, the main features, I suppose, on the actual body of the meter itself. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, the tape and then run through the all important uh, new probe head itself uh, with the new dual function um, magnetic indicator uh, for the metal casing and the plunger um, for the bottom of the well to give us uh, a depth indication. So a bit of history there um, from Solence. I actually uh, in the past had done a well casing detection meter uh, before um, from 91 to 2008, but um, decided to go back to the drawing board uh, with that one um, and now release uh, the much more uh, sleek and, and streamlined uh, unit. So i just talk a bit about the main features on the body. So you may notice, and you guys might already be familiar, but it's, um, very similar to uh, the 101s, um, the P7, P2 ranges. Um, it's the, the red reel that we uh, that we all know. So 
uh, much the same as, as all the others, the battery drawer, the battery test button, the indicator lights, the actual uh, speaker itself, on off switch and the handle, they're all, all the same, uh, all the same pieces there um, for that uh, meter. Laser mark tape is again um, the conventional sort of dog bone uh, PDF tape that we see on the majority of the other water level meters. Um, the replaceable tapes on these can be the same for the 101s, um, the 107s, um, and it is, as is the case with these new 105s, um, the tape is, is all the same. Um, the tape seal plug also very similar to the 107 TLC meters. Um, with a bit of heat shrink there, so um, uniformity, I suppose, across a lot of them. Um, but the, obviously, the new unique feature is the uh, dual function uh, 105 probe. So, um, in the middle, there is the actual magnetic indicator, uh, which will give you um, a reading of uh, metal casing as we go down uh, the bore. In the next slide is a little uh, visual and, and uh, video that will indicate that a bit, a bit better. Um, and then on the end of the dual function uh, probe is the actual plunger, which allows us to get a, a depth indicator um, of, of the total depth of your well uh, once that compresses. So a little video there will uh, indicate for us um, that so what you'll see is that uh, with the light you'll see here once it reaches the actual end of the casing depth that that black line in between the uh, the probe is the, is the zero point for that um, and you'll get a you'll get a fast sort of intermittent beep um, whilst it's within uh, the metal casing so you see you might see that light there um, have a quite a quick intermittent beep in between the, the metal casing and the actual bottom of the well, you will not get an indication uh, until the well depth plunger reaches the bottom there. And you'll notice that the lights actually are slower intermittent light. So that's the way you distinguish between the two and how that functionality works there. So the accuracies uh, within this unit um, is about 0.2 foot. Uh, full scale, so that equates to about five to six centimeters. Um, so again, uh, relatively uh, accurate there in terms of uh, giving some indications of, of where where the rental casing uh, starts and ends, and also your total depth of your well. Um, the uh, the, the indicator is designed initially to be with uh, the two inch bores. Um, I am getting some more clarification from Solence as to what its maximum capacity in terms of diameter of well uh, could be. Um, I've already had that uh, question asked by a couple of people who've already seen this unit as to, you know, how, how wide of a diameter of a bore uh, can I use that for? Um, I'm just getting some, some more clarification on that. Um, some troubleshooting with these units, um, much the same with uh, the 101 um, P7s. Um, if you're getting uh, a continuously sounding uh, instrument, it's generally there might be an indication that there's water within the probe. If I just go back uh, one here, and I'll, uh, within the probe itself, the, the plunger, the dual function uh, plunger unit uh, is fully uh, unscrewable. So you can unscrew that, that bottom section there uh, with the orange circle. You can unscrew the middle section there with a little hole in the, in the middle. And you can also unscrew the top area there. Um, and that allows for easy sort of cleaning with a soft uh, cloth and um, some uh, DI water in a squirt bottle or something, just to make sure that that's um, nice and nice and clean. Um, the battery drawer itself is also another uh, one that I'll just quickly touch on in terms of some troubleshooting. Um, what people will do, uh, not just with this, with, with the 
the well casing indicator, but also with the, all the other 101 P7s is that um, if you have a continuously sounding light, the battery uh, case can be taken out and left for a minute or two rather than putting the battery uh, directly back in. That allows the uh, unit to have enough time to draw um, the voltage out of it and effectively restart. So that's just another way to try um, the troubleshooting there when you have a continuously um, functioning functioning light. So look, the um, the well case and indicator there, um, you know, it's pretty straight in terms of uh, a similar design um, from the top uh, of a 101 uh, meter uh, and this dual function there of, of the uh, the plunger and the and the metallic indicator there so look um, that's pretty much uh, the, the, an outline of the of the new unit um, if there's any forms of uh, of questions or something uh, I'll just allow a bit of time um, in the Q&A there uh, to send through some some questions uh, that you might have. Um, whether I can answer them straight away, I will do so. Um, and also, if not, uh, it'll just give us some more material to go back to Solenced and, uh, and uh, be able to get back to you as soon as we can. So... Um, Just got a message from Nick here. Price range. <laughs> oh, Yiki with the price range. Um, similar sort of pricing, I suppose, to what would you compare it to, like the TLC um, meter? Um, you will have a bit, uh, you know, it's a bit more pricey than your average 101P7. Um, uh, but yeah, some similar sort of pricing to like the, the TLC man. But of course, just give me a call if you need a, a particular length um, and a price. Happy to provide that to you. Does the unit give standing water level reading or just casing and depth? Uh, yeah, it actually just gives your um, casing and depth, Ben. Um, there isn't a standing water level reading there because. Um, yeah, the only way that, that the, the depth um, indicator there uh, works is just by that plunger system. So if it fully compresses, that's, that's the only way you're going to get a, a measure of the water. So uh, not until it hits the bottom of the, of the well will you see a, a reading for, for water level. So if, you're, if your well casing is metal for at, the, at the top, you'll, you'll, see, you'll just have it in uh, fast intermittent beeping uh, straight away. So a um, bit hard to distinguish between having, you know, a metal casing and then when you hit the standing water level. So probably the reason for that. Uh, does it work in PVC or GRE casing? Um, I'm not too sure on that. I know that it's mainly designed just for um, metal casing. So, um, some clarification on on where's its threshold in terms of um, your GRE casing or something. I will uh, endeavour to to ask to ask them. Um, I do know that this has also been seen to uh, pick up on some abnormalities down the bore, which people have been looking for. Um, that uh, in terms of metal abnormalities within a PVC casing, that has they've used that um, functionality. So. Um, I'll just get some more clarification on that then. So um, we'll note that down. So it's capable of determining. Uh, so Giuseppe's just asked his question Is the device capable of determining pollutants in the water? Um, no, Giuseppe, the, the, the probe is simply only a uh, a metal uh, casing indicator for uh, groundwater bores or groundwater development um, so in terms of to turn of uh, pollutants um, there's other um, other products which I can talk to you about um, for that um, 
and we will be happy to do so. Uh, will the unit be for purchase and it will be available for rent? Uh, look, we're looking um, at that, Ben, um, to get uh, a few uh, units in um, and just determine, I suppose, it's such a such a new product, um, with only being a couple of months old, that we were sort of just gauging um, and going to do a few of these um, webinars and that sort of thing, get a feel from clients to see whether this might be something of interest um, to them. So the fact that we've had uh, quite a few um, participants come on to this webinar now is, is a really good indicator, I suppose, that um, there is some heightened interest in this unit. So I would 100% envisage that we will be looking to get some some products or some of these uh, real, sorry, into our rental fleet for sure. So. Um, at this very second, uh, just available for purchase, but I would say that uh, within the coming uh, weeks to, to a month, we'll have um, these units available for rent. So Tim's just asked, uh, what's the maximum depth range as a way of the probe? Yeah, Tim, so uh, the maximum depth range on it, uh, you can have a 600 meter cable um, in terms of the cable length. Maximum submergence rating for the probe, they say is rated to 500 meters. So um, you can get, uh, yeah, 600 meters of cable and, and the probe is rated to, um, to 500 meters. Uh, the weight of the probe, um, I don't know off the top of my head. Um, I know the, the diameter of the probe, but the weight, uh, I'll just double check that for you, Tim, and um, and get that through to you. So we'll just leave it a couple more uh, minutes to answer any more questions that you guys may have. But um, I'm just writing down Tim's. It is quite responsive, I've noted, uh, Tim, in terms of that plunger. Um, it doesn't take a lot of, doesn't take a lot to compress it. Um, more so than if it was hitting, you know, um, your standing water level. Um, but less so that you have to have some, you know, give it a bit of velocity um, to hit the bottom of the well in order to decompress that plunger. Um, so, yeah, thanks, Yip. Thanks for coming, mate. Uh, induction. Principles, Tim. I'm not familiar with the case in collar uh, locator, um, but it's a magnetic uh, indicator as depicted on that um, black metal ring uh, on the end of the probe. So uh, a good way of testing the probe prior to you going in is literally it'll react to any uh, sort of met form of metal parallel to that uh, black line in the middle of the probe there. Um, so I'll, I'll take a look at the, the casing collar locator and see what there's, if there's similarities there. Sizzle. Does it work in uh, PVC casing? Yeah, look, um, as I said before, uh, Dan there, I've had it, um, a guy use it within a PVC casing to detect some form of abnormalities that he thought there was some some form of metal down within the PVC casing, um, and that's that was okay for him. Um, in terms of uh, full functionality within the PVC casing to be an indicator for it, um, if that's what you're meaning, um, I don't think so. But I can get some more clarification from. Um, Scott at Solence. So, but yes, I have seen um, they've been chucked down PVC casings in order to um, to locate um, yeah some jagged abnormalities of metal uh, or screens as well. Um, so 
Um, that's yeah, that's also been a function for them. I guess you just won't hear anything for a long period of time if you're chucking it down a PVC casing without any metal in there. So, um, might be tricky. Ah, uh, there you go. So, 280 grams is the probe weight, Tim. Thanks, Michelle. Okay. Well, if there's uh, no more no more questions or anything, um, we might leave it there uh, for that for that presentation. So, um, look, if you um, have any interest at uh, or anything here, oh, we've got another, another question. Uh, no, that's it. Look, if you have any other questions that come through, just please feel free uh, feel uh, free to contact either myself um, or or Michelle, um, who sent those Zoom uh, invitations out to you, and it'll eventually get back to me. Um, happy to answer any and all questions uh, from these, and um, look, really appreciate uh, you guys taking the time um, to be here for this series and. Uh, just uh, keep an eye out, I suppose, on your email chains because we'll be um, continuously um, coming out with some uh, more little quick webinars uh, like this on some uh, new products coming out, uh, existing products, um, and that of the like. So, uh, look, thanks again, everybody, um, for your time. And uh, hope you guys are... Uh, doing okay if you're in Melbourne for the lockdown, but uh, everywhere else, I hope uh, things are ticking along um, exceptionally well for all of you. So thanks again, and uh, it's been great.